Hi, Eileen. I'm going to show you how to quickly make a, a meeting uh, for people on Zoom. What I do is I go down here, I'll look up Zoom, I'll start Zoom on my computer. If I'm already logged on, this window will appear. Uh, if I'm not already logged on, let's see if I can log out. So let's start up again. Start up Zoom. Usually I get a login message, so you log in with your name and, and uh, log in with your name and, and password. What you want to do is you want to uh, schedule a meeting. So you're coming down to here, so you're going to program a meeting, and it'll show up in meetings here. Programme votre réunion. Give it a name. Start your time. I think you're going to be around 12:30. You can fix the length here. It's good to fix the length. Sometimes I've seen it time out, so that's always important. Here it's telling me that I have a 40-minute limit. You will not have a 40-minute limit for multiple people uh, because, it's a, because it's the pro account. You can fix if you want the video to be active for people when they join. The options, this is nice to do both because some people join by telephone. Uh, and then usually what I do here is I'll go down into the advanced options. I don't usually fix the password, but I do allow people to join before I've arrived. And then if you want, you have your own personal number, you can use it. And so whenever I do a, a meeting, it automatically clicks on my personal room uh, number. And you can automatically set it up to record your meeting if you want. And then you can say program. What that's going to do is it's going to throw this into uh, an Outlook format, which you can see behind here. Uh, and this gives you all the information you need. If you want to find additional phone numbers specifically in France, if you follow this link here, uh, you can actually go in and find the, the emails in the, or pardon me, the telephone numbers for France. Uh, there are uh, two of them, if I'm not mistaken. Zero 01 and zero 07 number. So you can substitute them in your, in your invitation. So what I usually do is I make it, I schedule that in my own meeting, and then I uh, will uh, send the phone number. Now when you're ready for the meeting to begin, you click on the, the link. You can also come back to uh, your scheduler here. And here it should show the meeting that you've scheduled right here. And when you're ready to start, click start. You've set it up so that people can join when you're not there. So I start the meeting. <clears throat> It'll show me if, there, if I've started my video. I'll, I'll join by video, obviously. I can start the video down in the left-hand bottom corner. It's not going to do it because my video is obviously being used by the video recorder that I'm making this video with, so it won't work. Uh, if I want to share something, uh, usually uh, I can do this down here with share my screen. I can, I usually just share the icon, but I can choose a tableau blanc. I can also choose specific items. If I'm going to be sharing music, I want to make sure I click this down here so that I'm sharing also music. If you want to add participants, you can invite them, and this will allow you to copy, make a mail, but also just copy the URL and send it to people to join. Here you have the list of participants. You can turn them on and off. You can mute them if they're making too much noise. There's a chat window. You can chat with people as well. And then you can record it, uh, your meeting, if you want. So that's about it. Those are the basics.